Hello, I'm Dave Covington, VDOT's I-81 Program Delivery Director. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Improve 81 video series. We're back in Salem, Virginia today to talk about some critically important projects along the Interstate 81 corridor. Today we're talking about arterial improvement projects. And with me today, we have the three district traffic engineers from each of the three districts along the corridor. We have Brian Holt from Bristol District, Jen Robertson from Salem District, and Matt Bond from Stanton District. And before I turn it over to Brian, I'd like to tell you why these projects are so important. We frequently experience crashes along Interstate 81. And when we do have crashes, the traffic diverts to our parallel routes or our arterial routes. Some of these arterial routes, especially th through some of the towns and cities, have antiquated traffic signals. And this project serves to upgrade these signals with smart signal technology, which allows us to remotely, and more importantly, very quickly, change signal time to allow this traffic to move through the localities much more quickly. Brian is the district traffic engineer for Bristol District, and he will tell you more about the projects within his district. As Dave said, I'm Brian Holt, the Bristol District traffic engineer. In the Bristol District, we have three projects that will improve 64 signalized intersections. The improvements will be to VDOT and locality maintained signals in the city of Bristol, town of Abingdon, town of Marion, and town of Withville. The main detour route to I-81 in the Bristol District is Route 11. Route 11 runs through the heart of downtown communities that stay busy throughout the day with local traffic. These traffic signal improvements will help to more efficiently move existing traffic along with interstate traffic when crashes occur. The three projects that we have going on, the approximate value is $9 million. The work on the VDOT signals is currently under construction. The improvements to the city of Bristol and the town of Withville will go to advertisement in spring of 2022 and the improvements to the town of Abington and the town of Marion will go to advertisement in summer of 2022. That's what we have going on in Bristol. And now I'm gonna turn it over to Matt Bond, the Stanton District Traffic Engineer. Here in the Stanton District, we're working on a number of different improvements all along the 81 detour route. Like Salem and Bristol District, we are upgrading the signal equipment at a number of traffic signals to allow our traffic operations center to remotely monitor and make adjustments in real time during 81 incidents to maximize the flow of traffic through those signals. In addition, we are doing a number of geometric improvements like widening a shoulder or widening out a median. Those improvements will prevent some pinch points from occurring during the incidents on detour routes, such as a tractor trailer making a turn at an intersection that wasn't designed for it. Another component of the projects that we're working on is installing dynamic message signs on the detour routes themselves. This will provide enhanced traveler information to those people using the detour. For example, we will be installing dynamic message signs at Route 11 and 262 north of Stanton. As some of you may be aware, during incidents on 81, oftentimes tractor trailers detour themselves down into the city onto narrow streets where they cannot be accommodated. To prevent that, the dynamic message signs will be pushing messages out to tell travelers to continue on 262 around the city in a safe and efficient manner. Stanton District has five different projects with a total value of $9.6 million. These projects are occurring from Rockbridge County all the way up to the West Virginia line. As some of you may have already noticed, there has already been a number of geometric improvements taken at Route 11 in Rockbridge County. The other projects are currently under design and construction should start in 2022. And here's Jen Robertson to talk a little bit what's happening in Salem District. Hi, I'm Jennifer Robertson with the Salem District Traffic and we are working on multiple signal improvements up and down the I-81 corridor, particularly on Route 460 and Route 11. We have identified 82 signals to upgrade within Roanoke, Salem, Christiansburg, Radford, Dublin, and Pulaski. When there's an incident on 81, people try to find a way around the congestion, which ends up making the detour routes back up as well. So with these signal upgrades, we'll be able to uh, upgrade the communications and be able to control the signals so that we will be able to increase the green time on the detour routes to get traffic flowing throughout the corridor. So now I'm going to take you to one of our cabinets and show you what's in them. So this is what one of our signal cabinets looks like from the inside. 
Uh, here, this is our signal controller. So this is where we control the cycle lengths of the signal. So how long it's gonna be green, red, things like that. Here, this is our conflict monitor. So this makes sure that none of the movements conflict with each other so you don't cause any accidents. This is our video detection equipment up here. And then this is how we communicate with the signals up here. The signal upgrades will include these communication upgrades which will connect to our signal box here and allow us to uh, take control when needed to change the signal timings at the signals. These signal upgrades will really help us in the future to get traffic moving throughout the region. Thank you, Brian, Jen, and Matt, for providing additional information about the projects within your district. And I'd like to thank you for joining us for another episode of the Improve 81 video series.